Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer, Internal Medicine, Emory. And I'm Dr. George Freihofer, Orthopedic Surgery, University of Pennsylvania. The topic, vaccination-induced bursitis. And why vaccination technique matters. A study in this issue of Annals looked at nearly 3 million vaccinated patients and found an increased risk of shoulder bursitis following flu vaccination, an additional 7.78 cases of bursitis per 1 million vaccinations. Concerns about vaccinations and subdeltoid bursitis are not new. The Institute of Medicine voiced similar concerns in 2012. Subdeltoid bursitis, which presents as pain and loss of shoulder motion, is not uncommon. It occurs in about 1% of the U.S. population, most often as a result of injury or overuse. But as supported by this study, in this issue, it can also occur after vaccination. Possible mechanisms of injury include needle placement, injecting too close to the acromion process, and needle length, injecting through the deltoid muscle. With this study in mind, it's probably a good time to tune up our injection technique. For needle placement, know your landmarks. Aim for the midpoint of the deltoid muscle, two to three finger widths below the acromion process and above the armpit. Inject at a 90 degree angle, no aspiration needed. Correct needle length is a matter of the patient's weight and sex. The object is to inject into the muscle, not through the muscle. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic may present challenges for flu vaccination for the upcoming flu season. Many routine visits are going virtual, and although we can do a lot in a telehealth visit, immunization still requires an in-person encounter. This presents challenges a traditional in-office flu vaccination visit never did. Clinic patients could just put on a gown to allow adequate exposure of anatomic landmarks. Those days are largely gone with the prospect of more drive-through clinics and increasing urgency to vaccinate and the possibility of needing to administer multiple vaccines, sometimes in non-traditional settings. It's now more important than ever for patients to dress appropriately to facilitate efficient and safe vaccine administration. Insist patients either go sleeveless or be prepared to unzip or unbutton appropriately and adequately and accurately. And guys, I'm sorry, but unbuttoning the first two buttons of a long sleeve shirt or adding the third button so you can keep your tie on will not work. We must all remember the critical protective value of vaccination as we aspire to do no harm in vaccine administration. During the 2016-2017 flu season included in this study of vaccine-related bursitis, vaccination prevented over 5.2 million illnesses, 2.6 million medical encounters, 72,000 hospitalizations, and 5,000 deaths. Bottom line, keep vaccinating. For the Annals of Internal Medicine, Freihofer and Freihofer signing, signing off. off.